And yes, so women farmers for inside Abuja, they don't raise alarm on top of the threats where they pose by headsmen for their farms. And they see young, so many of them, they know fit visit their farm without say person escorts them. And the headsmen still they pack their farm produce uh, and within last last harvest. And then they call on the federal government to do something sharp sharp so they fit protect their occupation. Our talk talk person, Amadin Uyi, been visit some farms for inside Abuja and he knows the story. Mrs. Nana is one out of many rural women farmers that rely on farming for their livelihoods. Mercy, a mother of three, is into crop and poultry farming and farms melon known locally as egusi, maize, cassava, and okra nuts. Mercy is one out of numerous women farmers taking farming as a major occupation. However, women farmers like Mercy across the nation's capital, Abuja, says insecurity has become a major challenge in recent times. Insecurity in time of uh, farmers and uh, their headsmen is really dealing with us here in this village and it's a very difficult situation. My challenge for the security, the Fulani people, they are disturbing us too much. Because now, if I woke up in the morning, I will prepare to come, I do my work. Because in the farm, I used to get food to eat. But the Fulani people, they cannot leave us. We coming inside here is because uh, we, f we saw that there is protection around here. If not last year, I farmed the maize around here. And to tell you the truth, uh, one hectare of maize, I didn't get up to half a bag of maize, which is very appalling and not encouraging. Get one and wait, wait they call a bokoro. When they carry their cow, come if they don't see anybody from inside the farm, they will just command the cow, enter inside the cassava and remove the cassava, begin to give them. Even young massive, then go remove and they give them. Then the cow will chop. After when you see them, they will command the cow, the cow will run, then they will face the farmer. Though Nigeria's federal government has consistently reiterated the need to diversify the nation's revenue base, many of these women farmers. So the constant insecurity threat is not helping government's cause. Available data from the National Bureau of Statistics says women farmers make up to 79% of Nigeria's agricultural labor force. Some of these women say with regular pillaging of their farms by headsmen, they continue to record huge losses. The cassava farm I left not quite long. The farm, the, they really invade that farm the earth bought the stem and the tubers, which I bought the stem from ITC, from Ibadan, with the transport and everything, I lost both the stem and the tubers. They used to come with their own cow. Go and enter your farm, chopping all your crop, what you are planting, and you cannot get mouth to say. When you meet them for farm, when you want to talk, then you say they will kill you. And then you cannot get power to reach them because they will reach four or five. They will carry cutlass begin to pursue you for farm. For many of these women farmers, insecurity continues to pose a major challenge. They say the threats of headsmen has continued to affect their farming, farm output, and farm yields. Last week, we have a serious uh, bloodbath here. We, the villagers and the flani, today said they cut one man's hand. The, uh, the man is still in the hospital as I speak. My neighbor, it was the last two years. Up to now, the man never recover because talk and uh, just talk. Please, please, don't enter, don't enter. Before the man know, they caught the man. One hand now cannot walk. It's my neighbor. Last year, when we do the our benefit for here, the benefit don't reach to remove. Then when we remove and we tighten to come and harvest it, you mean that tomorrow, then when we come, we carry busy and everything beat and the beneficiary finish. Before we come, we don't see any beneficiary for farm again, they don't carry and come out. Oh, if I say I sell them, I go get almost about 120,000, I lose them. Many of these farmers want urgent intervention from government, saying if nothing is done soonest, they might be forced to abandon farming, a situation stakeholders believe 
will catalyze a food crisis in the country. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.